Well, like most everything that I do on this project, which is extremely labor intensive, um, I just spread it out, <clears throat> break it up, do a little bit at a time. So I don't do the whole floor all at once, just little sections, little areas when I get a chance and when I have extra tile or when I find some tile that I really like. But I'm always buying tile wherever I can find it. Habitat for Humanity. Um, everywhere. Garage sales. Um, sometimes the Dollar Tree, I'll just go in and buy plates and break them up and use them. So when I have some extra laying around and I've got time or it's a day where it's too cold to go work outside, I go inside and just lay the floor. And bit by bit, piece by piece, um, it slowly comes together. So I'm just kind of <clears throat> showing the process here. Like, uh, this is what it looks like from overhead. That's thin set and I put the thin set on pretty uh, generously so that when I lay the tile in, it sort of acts as a grout until I get to the grouting, which is not my favorite job. Um, so I use quite a bit of thin set here. And that's why you, usually I have, um, you know, both hands uh, are in gloves. For this, I kept changing the camera, so I had to leave one glove off and just use one glove to smooth in the thin set. But if you don't use some protective, you know, latex or something, um, this stuff, like just like any cement, really will just eat your skin away. So at the end of the day, if you're not wearing gloves, I've learned the hard way. Your skin sort of just comes off and. Uh, develops these cracks almost like acid getting in and eating away the skin so it's not very pleasant so wear gloves <laughs> bottom line and I don't have a pre-designed um, like I don't lay it out the design I just let it flow on its own and the pieces sometimes make up the design pattern or depending on how much I have uh, you know, of a single color tile, you know, it'll limit and sort of guide what you are able to do. So I kind of let various things kind of guide me in the process. It's not very scientific and it shouldn't be. And in the, you know, when all is said and done, I, there are some areas that I would like to do over, but, you know, once it's down, it's down. There's nothing you can do about it. So, you live with it, and, um, you know, it is what it is at the end. And uh, that's make, that makes it unique, and there it is. So, it, it does come together, eventually. Like it, and so does the dog. So there you go.